So you've just bought Crossover Mac, and now you're wondering, how do I get this installed? Well, this video is going to show you how to do that. It's very quick and simple. Please note, this video assumes that you either bought your copy of Crossover directly from Codeweavers, in which case a customer account was set up for you automatically at the time of purchase, or that you bought a copy of Crossover from a retail outlet like Best Buy, and that you then registered your copy of Crossover using the registration card that was in your product box. If neither of these is true, then you need to register your copy of Crossover first, or nothing that I say in this video will make the least bit of sense, since you won't be able to log into your customer account on our website. With that said, the first thing you want to do is go out to Codeweaver's website and click on the login link on the upper right hand corner of the screen. You'll be asked to input your email address and the password that was sent to you when you purchased Crossover. After you've done that, you'll be logged into My Account. Once you're in My Account, take a look over on the left-hand side and look for the link that says My Downloads. Clicking on My Downloads, not surprisingly, brings up a list of your download. That is to say, every application that you bought from Codeweavers. Note that you can always come back here to re-download your product in the future if you need to. You'll always have access to the files that you've paid for. Also note that underneath the download link for each of the files is a link that will give you more help for installation if you need it. I'll click on the link and start the process of downloading Crossover Mac. This is probably the part of the video where we'd make idle chat while we're waiting for the download to complete. You know, how's the weather in Poughkeepsie? Mmm. Yeah, it's getting colder here in Minneapolis too. Maybe we should just fast forward through this to avoid those uncomfortable pauses in the conversation. Having now downloaded the installer, I'll just double click on the DMG on my desktop to get it running. Once it's uncompressed, the main installer screen comes up. Installing Crossover is very simple. Just drag the Crossover icon into the Applications folder. That's all there is to it. The cool part about this is that we're actually creating a complete Windows environment on your machine in about 15 seconds, but without the need for Windows itself. Voila! Once Crossover is installed, I can eject the installer and then drag the disk image to the trash. Next I'll open up my Finder, look under Applications, and locate the Crossover app. I'll go ahead and drag it down to the dock to make things a little more convenient for us. Now I'll fire up Crossover, and the next thing we'll see is the welcome screen. Crossover is now fully installed on your machine, and you're ready to install Windows software. We sincerely hope that Crossover will be a useful tool for you on your Mac, and we thank you very much for your patronage. Crossover Mac, the best of Windows without Windows.